Mid-Module 4, Grade 4, Engage New York, Review Test. Problem 4. Use the clock to answer the following. A. Use a straight edge to draw the hands as they would appear at 9 o'clock. So, we have to make sure that the hour hand is shorter than the minute hand. And we need to make sure that we're using a straight edge. Again, I don't know how to use a straight edge on this program, so I am freehanding it. But you really need to make sure that you use a straight edge to get the most points on your test. So to make it be 9 o'clock, your hour hand will go directly to the 9. A short line, uh, sorry, it's actually a short ray because you have the arrow on one and a point on the other end. And then to show that it's 9 o'clock, you go straight up to the 12 for the other ray. It says what kind of angle is formed by the clock hands at 9 o'clock. So that's where you can see that there is a 90 degree angle there. And when it makes a, uh, forms a 90 degree angle, we call that a right angle. Okay, so what kind of angle is formed by the clock hands at 9 o'clock? A right angle. All right, now we're on to C. What time will it be when the minute hand has turned 90 degrees? So the minute hand is the long hand that's pointing at the 12. When the minute hand goes 90 degrees, that means it would move here and it would be pointing this way towards the three. So what time will it be when the minute hand is turned 90 degrees? Well, this would be 90 degrees. So our new time is going to look like this. And so if you know what that time is on a traditional clock, then it would be 9.15. And you would write it like that, nine and then the colon, which is two dots, and then 1, 5 for 15. The next question says, how many 90 degree turns will the minute hand make between 9 o'clock and 9.30? So let's go back to what my clock looked like when it was 9 o'clock. And it wants to know how many 90 degree turns will the minute hand make to become 9.30? So you would have to know that 930 looks like this with the minute hand straight down at the 6. So if I start with the minute hand up at the 12, I would make one 90 degree turn to get to 915. Then a second 90 degree turn, right, going this way to get to 930. So it would make two 90 degree turns, all right? And that's number four.